Call the meeting order. Roll call vote. Alderman Larry Hall? Here. Alderman Hoppy? Here. Alderman Kerwin? Here. Alderman Van Dyne? Here. Alderman Persick? Here. Alderman Studer? Here. Alderman Tudor? Here. <coughs> Seven present, one absent. Move the phone. I declare that the regular meeting of the Woman the City Council on June 19th, 2013 is now in session. Uh, Council, the approval of the meeting for you. Thank you. Are there any motions? Alderman Tudor, yes. Alderman Larry Hall, yes. Alderman Hoppy, Alderman Kerwin, yes. Alderman Van Dyne, yes. Alderman Studer, yes. Alderman Persick, yes. Six yes, one abstain, one absent. Motion passes. Um, real quick, uh, to uh, the city clerk and uh, Tom, can you guys check the records in regards to the special council meeting that I heard? Thank you for just before the fourth of June. Next council meeting, you make sure that's on the agenda for folks. Alright. Okay, uh, next item is the public hearing. We've got a motion to open up. I've got them here. I moved to open the public hearing at 718 to discuss open space lands acquisition and development of Osland uh, grants. Motion right. to the first, second. 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 By Alderman Hall. Uh, roll call, please. Alderman Persick? Yes. Alderman Larry Hall? Yes. Um, Alderman Van Dyne? Yes. Alderman Studer? Yes. Alderman Persick? Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Make sure he said it. Alderman Kerwin? Yes. Alderman Hoppy? Yes. Alderman Tudor? Yes. Seven yes, and motion passes. All right. Uh, currently now we're the uh, public hearing is open for the open <coughs> Land acquisition grant and development development grant. Um, before you guys are walking in, you've seen the, uh, the proposals we have. Um, we have those two for here from HR Green uh, tonight. Uh, so if you want to just do a quick rundown on this stuff for everybody, and then uh, we can let the uh, public sure. the opportunity at that time. Sure, I'll be very brief and answer okay. questions. Uh, um, you know, we've been through uh, a lot of feedback uh, that we've heard this week many times. Again, last week, we've been planning the zoning meeting where we're collecting feedback, and then the public uh, open house report is going to stay, and I think it's about know, seven, seven or eight now of uh, town issues. So, um, so that's the process so far. We have to submit uh, next week, or July 1st, but probably on the 28th of June, we'll submit uh, online, and then I have to send a package in as well. So that's kind of the, the timeline. Just real quick on these. Uh, draft one, as you know, we had a kind of a vision plan for North and South Island and then zoomed up on the, the lots, the five lots uh, for acquisition. We had a draft one and then on this side of draft two. So this is really where we're at, totally in some of the comments that we've had. Just the major changes, I guess, to what's happened on the vision plan is before the Park Street uh, Road entrance through the park is right here. We are now looking at moving it over next to the hotel and lining it up against uh, across from the, the north entrance, uh, the north park. So, uh, so that everybody seems to like. I mean, every time that comes up, everybody just loves that idea. So that's what we probably have on the vision plan. Um, before we had the, the uh, proposed to possibly turn the bridge down here on the south side to pedestrian only. And uh, no, not many people like that, so we're moving it back to uh, you know keeping it vehicular and uh, up through that point so the road is coming down through there. Uh, we added a trailhead up here on the five lots. Before we had kind of a large shelter, now we've reduced the size to a, just kind of a small shelter, picnic table that would be kind of a trailhead where you could stop, park your car, look at a trail map of the whole area, and. and uh, go about your way. Some interpretive signs and things like that as well. Um, 
The other thing that we've added in North Island uh, is the vision plan. The other one didn't really focus on that, but we thought it was important to show both North Island and South Island uh, in the vision plan. Um, I think that's some of the, the main items there. This is uh, a blow up of the area. Uh, you know, a lot of the things I just mentioned are shown here. We also have the community sign, uh, entrance sign, the park, and community sign at that location. So that kind of gives you just a brief overview. I guess the last thing I'll say is with this, moving this road over here, uh, really does. I mean, I personally like it. I hear a lot of feedback from everybody. They like that because it does open this up to just keep the tree, keep it permanent open space forever, which I need ours and we're very really fun that. So uh, that's a quick summary. Um, if you have to answer any, any questions. Yeah. Any questions from the public at this time? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the community sign idea? Yeah, and, and we haven't really read it well yet. There could be a, a digital sign. Like a uh, message board? Message board built into something that could be more permanent made out of, right. you know, the stone or whatever we choose at that point. So we wouldn't have to use a mural sign that says the fishing derby is this weekend and put it on this sign, right? right. Or catfish days is coming. Easter egg hunt. We get it here, yes. <laughs> We could put an arrow, a nice arrow made out of brick. Plus, you got some There's the wings open. Is there a reason we couldn't look at putting a restroom area up there, too? Or is there one up there in the city? We don't have one proposed down in the five lot area. We usually kind of show one down by the ball fields, one proposed. Um, so. I didn't think that you know, even talking in the finance, we we're kind of really going to focus on the acquisition and then, <coughs> and then like I said, it will develop and stuff that we can create that uh, yeah. possibility. Yeah, we kind of decided earlier to just go because we would have had to submit a district right? we would have had to submit two different grants, one for acquisition and then a different grant for development. And it was decided to just focus on the acquisition parcel first, and then next year we go into development uh, for first phase or multiple phases. So, um, it seems that makes sense. I think everybody agrees with that. Let's just try to try to get that, and then we can go from there. All right. So anything uh, for the public? Anything from the council? Any further questions? All right. Can you motion to close the public hearing? You make it up. I move to close the public hearing at uh, 7:25 p.m. Motion to close. First, second. All second. Second by Alderman to the roll call vote, please. <coughs> Person? Yes. Alderman Tudor? Yes. Alderman Larry Hall? Yes. Alderman Helen Hoppy? Yes. Alderman Kevin Kerwin? Yes. Alderman Van Dyne? Yes. Okay. Oh, Alderman Studer? Um, seven yes, one after the motion passes. <coughs> Next up is American Park. Um, Mark, do we have a back to Mark? Or is it tonight? Here. Uh, no, he had a family emergency in Ohio, so we're going to have to reschedule. We're, we're That's all right. We're doing our retirement against Texas. Yeah, there we go. That works. Um, second item is uh, the mayoral appointments. Um, <laughs> all of them have is pretty much the standard. Uh, we've been coming out for the past four years. Um, so we got a motion on yeah. it. Mr. Mayor, I move to approve the 2013 mayoral appointments. Tony Graff, City Administrator. Darren Plotz, Chief of Police. Gary Van Dyne, Superintendent of Public Works. Jack Plesey, Superintendent of Water Treatment Plant. Bob Land, Superintendent of Water Reclamation Plant. And John A. Urban, City Attorney. Most of all, I have a second. All second. Second by Alderman Van Dyne. Any discussion? Roll <coughs> Alderman Kerwin? Yes. Alderman Van Dyne? Yes. Alderman Larry Hall? Yes. Alderman Hoppy? Yes. Alderman Studer? Yes. Alderman Persick? Yes. Alderman Tudor? Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Motion passes. Thank you. All right, next item agenda is a resolution in regards to supporting the village of Town 
um, opposing our petition for Aqua, Illinois, in regards to uh, certificate for public convenience and necessity to construct. Uh, basically, what's happening is um, the village of Piatone is concerned of for uh, private entities uh, moving forward to, to, to claim water rights in certain areas. Um, they have a general concern over that. Uh, I spoke with the mayor, uh, Rich Durant, from Piatone, um, and in discussion of a lot of things, he asked us for his support to kind of help them along to to, pre to prevent that private entity from coming and taking the water rights of Piatone. Um, so I think there was even concern from some of the other yeah uh, feature also yeah um, that's a concern yeah and I mean you know and <coughs> generally so that they you know have that concern um, so you know I I uh, talked to the mayor of Piatone and I said that I would extend this uh, offer of support uh, to the village of Piatone to the council for tonight uh, for their consideration to move forward on this resolution so. I don't know if anybody had the resolution or if there any concerns or questions, but feel free. I move to approve resolution number 2013-07, a resolution in support of the village of Keatone resolution opposing the petition of Aqua Illinois Incorporated for certificate of public convenience and necessity to construct, operate, and maintain the water distribution system and wastewater collection system in areas that can be key and local. Second. Just goes to point out to you how important it is to keep control of your city utilities, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. And you know, and I think at the same time it shows um, from our standpoint, from the, the, village, the city standpoint, that we understand the concerns that our neighbors have. Get a roll call vote, please. Alderman Hobby? Yes. Alderman Studer? Yes. Alderman Tudor? Yes. Alderman Persick? Yes. Alderman Van Dyne? Yes. Alderman Kerwin? Yes. Alderman Larry Hall? Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Motion passes. Uh, just a few other things under the mayor's report. Um, first off, uh, last week I had the opportunity to go to the Will County uh, CED uh, Breakfast Forum um, in regards to uh, the movement of Will County and as it proceeds forward with everything that's going on. It was a very interesting forum. Um, um, they showed a lot of progress that's happened in Will County. They even showed where it slowed down from where um, generally the area where Will County is starting to move forward. Uh, one of the nicest things to see is, is they uh, broadcast a display of all the movements that's going on um, within Will County. Um, Wilmington had by far the largest site that was developed in Will County over the past year, and that was Illinois Transporter 50 acres. Uh, most of them were, um, there was probably a few of uh, a couple hundred thousand square feet. Um, most everything else was probably much smaller in scale. In fact, uh, our cold storage addition was just right there along with uh, everybody else. So it was really nice to see um, the city of Wilmington showing that progress and being as progressive as they are um, and, and as it relates to Will County as a whole. Um, we also had the opportunity uh, yesterday, at those of you who may have went, was the public hearing in regards to the Ileana. Um, continue to speak with uh, other elected officials from other municipalities and express um, our concerns and also express our desires um, if the inevitability of the Ileana becomes to fruition as far as dealing with um, interchanges um, and dealing with this, this the future layout of the city of Wilmington. Um, going to be working with staff and I'm going to really kind of seek input from you guys as well as we move forward with the uh, putting together a resolution um, that outlines our concerns in relation to Ileana. Um, I think one of the biggest things has to do with interchanges. Uh, we, you know, I know I've said a lot of clear um, to many of these people that I've talked to in different engagements that we do not support the Route 53 interchange. Um, our biggest push has always been for the uh, Chicago Road interchange as it is the most viable alternative for the city of Wilmington as the future growth comes out. And even as you look towards bypass routes with trucks, with Old Chicago Road, the 102 and all that. <coughs> so we're going to be putting that stuff together. Um, as you know, we've been networking with the uh, other mayors in the area. Um, and they uh, and generally have supported our ideas. And it, basically what they say is uh, get us something in writing and uh, they'd be more than happy to support it. So we'll continue to move forward with also talking with our elected officials downstate 
um, to try to garnish as much support as we can, um, especially with the old Chicago Road Interchange, but also with the other necessities, because we still can't <coughs> those that are impacted and those are affected um, by the proposed road coming through, the, the route that is coming through Wilmington. Um, that's always first and foremost. You don't want to forget the impact that they're going to be feeling in that effect. You've got to make sure they're taken care of, and that's where we work with the state legislatures, too. It's not, we don't work with IDOT, we do we'll work with IDOT, but we really got to make sure that our state legislators are abreast of the situation and um, that they can help us. They're probably the greatest factor to make sure that those needs are conveyed and uh, assist us in these endeavors. So um, we'll have something soon. Um, I'm hoping because this thing is, is moving uh, relatively quickly. In fact, yesterday I was quite surprised to see that they've taken the old Chicago Road option, which is totally off the uh, uh, off the map without any call or any you know, courtesy to say, hey, we're doing this. Um, still don't understand the logic, but, you know, we're going to be quite the Chicago Road Initiative. So, keep going. All right, citizens' comments. Do we have any citizens' comments tonight? It's still up there. No citizens' comments? Planning and Zoning Commission, uh, their next scheduled meeting is Thursday, July 11, 2013, 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, committee reports, building grounds, parks, health and safety, Alderman of Persick, Alderman of Van Dyne. Uh, Mayor, our next scheduled meeting is Wednesday, July 10th at 6 p.m. Uh, Water Street, Sewers and Alleys, Alderman Studer, Alderman Kerwin. Mr. Mayor, next scheduled meeting is Wednesday, July 10th, 2013 at 6 p.m. Police and Esta, Alderman Studer, Alderman Tudor. Uh, the scheduled meeting is Tuesday, July 9th at 5.30 p.m. Finance, administration, online acquisition, and again, all the tutor, all the tutor. I think I have the there first, we go. first five or six or seven. <laughs> I moved to approve the account payable report dated June 14, 2013 in the amount of $242,909.36 and the May 2013 collector's report in the amount of $268,000. $188.38. Uh, motion by Alderman Tudor. Do we have a second? I second. Second by Alderman Hoppe. Uh, any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Alderman Tudor? Yes. Alderman Hoppe? Yes. Alderman Larry Hall? Yes. Alderman Kerwin? Yes. Alderman Van Dyne? Yes. Alderman Tudor? Yes. Alderman Persick? Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Motion passes. Uh, next, I, I move to approve ordinance number 13-06-19-01, an ordinance authorizing an intergovernmental agreement between the City of Wilmington and the Island Park District. A motion by Alderman Tudor, we have a second. I'll second, maybe a second by Alderman Person. Uh, any discussion? We'll call vote. Alderman Tudor? Yes. Alderman Persick? Yes. Alderman Studer? Yes. Alderman Van Dyne? Yes. Alderman Kerwin? Yes. Alderman Hoppe? Yes. Alderman Larry Hall? No. Six yes, one no, one absent. Motion passes. Uh, please strike number three. Number three is stricken. Uh, next, I move to approve resolution number 2013-08, Open Space Lands Acquisition and Development, OSLAD, as amended. Uh, motion by Alderman Tudor, do we have a second? I'll second. <coughs> Alderman Tudor? Yes. Alderman Persick? Yes. Alderman Studer? Yes. Alderman Van Dyne? Yes. Alderman Kerwin? Yes. Alderman Hoppy? Yes. Alderman Larry Hall? Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Motion passes. I move to approve resolution number 2013-09, a resolution for approving fiscal year 2014 non-union employee salaries. Motion by Alderman Tudor, do we have a second? I'll second. Second by Alderman Kerwin. Any discussion? No call vote, please. Alderman Tudor? Yes. Alderman Kerwin? Yes. Alderman Larry Hall? Yes. Alderman Hoppy? Yes. Alderman Van Dyne? No. Alderman Studer? Yes. Alderman Persick? Yes. Six yes. One no, one absent. Motion passes. I move to approve resolution number 2013-10, a resolution relating ter to termination of participation by elected officials in the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund, Alderman. 
Motion by Alderman Tudor. Do we have a second? I second it. Second by Alderman Hockey. Any discussion? <coughs> okay. Alderman Tudor. Yes. Alderman Hoppy. Yes. Alderman Larry Hall. Yes. Alderman Kerwin. Yes. Alderman Van Dyne. Yes. Alderman Studer. Yes. Alderman Persick. Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Motion passes. I'm going to ask one. I move to approve resolution number 2013-11, a resolution relating to termination of participation by elected <coughs> officials in the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund City Clerk. Motion by Alderman Tudor. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Alderman Carroll. Any discussion? Go call vote, please. Alderman Tudor. Yes. Alderman Kerwin. Yes. Alderman Larry Hall. Yes. Alderman Hoppy. Yes. Alderman Van Dyne. Yes. Alderman Studer. Yes. Alderman Persick. Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Motion passes. Okay. Before you, before you start, <coughs> just for a reminder, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, we need to have the supermajority vote because we're not going out for competitive bidding on this because we're not for a call solicitation. So that's six votes, correct? Yes. Okay. So we are at the next five. Okay. I move to approve the quote for the new Dynapack CC 1300 double drum vibratory roller for the, uh, from the low bidder KC equipment in the amount of $41,900. Most valuable and student, we have a second. Second. Second by Alderman Tudor. Any discussion? No Alderman Studer. Yes. Alderman Tudor. Yes. Alderman Persick. Yes. Alderman Van Dyne. Yes. Alderman Kerwin. Yes. Alderman Hoppy. Yes. Alderman Larry Hall. Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Yes. Mr. Mayor, I move to approve the quote for the John Deere. 6105M and Tiger Mower from the low bidder Aaron's Hogan Walker in the amount of $99,500. Motion by Alderman Studer, do we have a second? No second. Second by Alderman Van Dyne. Uh, any discussion? This is, some of this money is from Rich Park. It is worth $20,000. Alderman Studer. Yes. Alderman Van Dyne. Yes. Alderman Larry Hall. Yes. Alderman Hoppy. Yes. Alderman Kerwin. Yes. Alderman Persick. Yes. Alderman Tudor. Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Motion passes. Okay, Mr. Mayor, I move to approve the quote for a four-ton Falcon recycling asphalt hot patcher from the low bidder Galva Road Equipment LLC in the amount of twenty-three thousand three hundred twenty. Motion by Alderman Studer, do we have a second? I'll second. Second by Alderman Tudor. Any discussion? Go call vote, please. Alderman Studer. Yes. Alderman Tudor. Yes. Alderman Persick. Yes. Alderman Larry Hall. Yes. Alderman Hobby. Yes. Alderman Kerwin. Yes. Alderman Van Dyne. Yes. Seven yes, one absent. Motion passes. Mr. Mayor, move to approve the quote for the 2014 Fleet Non. Retail 3500 HD four wheel drive regular cab from the low bidder Lombardi Chevrolet Buick in the amount of $32,995. Motion. Alderman Studer, do we have a second? All second. Second by Alderman Studer. Uh, any discussion? Yeah, I just want to know that I still don't think we need this truck. Even though we have old stuff, but it's showing still. Very good and capable of working. So. One thing to add is we did follow the uh, procedure that all three of our locals were uh, given the specs and they did get on it. So this is more of a focus. Any further discussion? Okay. Go call the vote, please. Alderman Studer. Yes. Alderman Tudor. Yes. Alderman Persick. Yes. Alderman Van Dyne. Yes. Alderman Kerwin. Yeah. Alderman Hoppy. Yes. Alderman Larry Hall. No. <coughs> Six yes, one now, one absent. Motion passes. Okay, Mr. Mayor, I move to approve the quote for uh, the outfit and equip the 2014 3500 HD truck from the low bidder, Berman A Supply Incorporated, in the amount of $8,325. Well, Motion by Alderman Studer, we have a second. I'll second. Second by Alderman Studer. Any discussion? 
Well, it says out here outfit and equipment. Gary, do you have anything that, uh, from any equipment that you have? Like an old uh, plow or anything like that that we have to spend this money? We do have a plow. <laughs> We can put on this so what? So what are we gonna? What are we box. gonna do? Box. Three hundred dollars. That's the utility box. <clears throat> the, the truck was just a chassis, cabin chassis. Okay. <clears throat> so this is gonna be for tools and that, like you used to have a long time ago. This is gonna have a utility the, box for tools and. Uh, uh, materials and stuff like that. Go out on the job, carry a lot of uh, sewer equipment, uh, fittings, uh, stuff like that. Any further discussion? No call please. Alderman Studer. Yes. Alderman Tudor. Yes. Alderman Persick. Yes. Alderman Van Dyne. Yes. Alderman Kerwin. Yes. Alderman Hoppy. Yes. Alderman Larry Hall. No. Six yes, one no, one absent. Motion passes. Mr. Mayor, next scheduled meeting is Tuesday, July 16, 2013, at 6 p.m. Ordinance and license, Alderman Hoppy, Alderman Hall. Mr. Mayor, scheduled meeting is Tuesday, July 9, 2013. Uh, first count question bargaining, Alderman Larry Hall, Alderman Person. We already did the executive session, right? Yep. We yeah. just have one tonight. We have nothing at this time, Mr. Mayor. City Administrative Report, Mr. McGrath. Go Hawks. That's it? That's it. All right, Attorney Report, Mr. Irvin. Thank you. The uh, last brief that we filed on the government's loss was the appellate court. Um, and our, the next step is to wait for the appellate court to give us notice of the oral argument. Uh, so, you know, we take a few months before we get notice of that. Administrator told me about the efforts to, to price down the charge to William Scotsman uh, facility. I've been working with the attorney for William Scotsman to limit the ability to for them to come back with a change order to increase the price structure. Uh, I last spoke with them about a week ago. Maybe not going to be next. But that's what I've noticed. We anticipate that by the next council meeting, I can call the attorney. And uh, on that work that I wanted to prepare a response to our conversation where we went over the difference between that and the contract. So, uh, <coughs> we to make that a lot of changes that I guess. We'll see if we can find a lot of changes. All right, no deck session, no action needed. Our next regular city council meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, July 2nd, 2013, at 7 o'clock p.m. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.